Welcome to my channel, Simply Mama Cooks. I'm Angelica. By the way, be sure to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. So today I'm going to show you one of the many ways I make a bento style lunch box. Now, I'm not going anywhere today. My husband's gonna eat it at home, but you guys might find this helpful. So here you go. Okay, so for my first uh, recipe for this uh, lunch box here, I'm going to use a lot of scallions in my recipe, so I'm going to prep my scallions. I'm also going to take my garlic here and just kind of press and use crushed garlic in these recipes. You could also mince your garlic, but these were actually frozen, so let's see if it works. Oh yeah, it works. See? I'm just going to crush all my garlic because I will be using it in several of my recipes. Nope, get in there. And they look this color because I had them frozen from the holiday like prep stuff. So I'm still using them. And they look kind of frozen, soggy and yellow, but still good. All good stuff. Okay, so I'm going to prep my cucumbers. These are just uh, the small, like the pickling cucumbers or Persian cucumbers. You can use English cucumbers, whatever you have on hand. I have four of these and I'm going to uh, slice them thinly. And I'm just going to cut the ends off. And there's different ways that you can slice these. Um, you know, you can do them at like a diagonal. But because this is going into a small bento box, I'm going to cut them thin and just round. Okay, so in this recipe that I'm gonna make, instead of using rice vinegar, I'm going to use fresh lime juice. You definitely can replace the lime juice with the vinegar. I'm gonna measure out a tablespoon and a half of soy sauce, this medium lime. I'm going to go with like a teaspoon and I'll give it a taste and if it doesn't taste right well then I may adjust the ratios of these things. I'm going to go in with some garlic here like a clove of garlic works. I'm going to use some Korean red chili flakes. My son's going to eat this, so I don't want it extra spicy. Like a half teaspoon to a full teaspoon of the pepper flakes works for this. And again, the ratios of this um, of this mix, the seasoning mix, it's really to your preference. I'm going to go in with a little bit of sesame oil. No, we'll do like a teaspoon. And I'm going to go in with a little bit of my, um, you know, I'll do this, the scallion whites. Just the whites of one or two scallions works. Now I'm going to cover with the lid and shake it up. So now give it a good shake. After you shake it up, taste it, adjust it, and add it to the cucumbers. So now I'm going to add some ses roasted sesame seeds into the mix, just a little for now, maybe a quarter teaspoon. And I like to add power seeds. This is like flax seed, um, flax seed, uh, chia seeds. It's just a mix of like healthy seeds going in. We'll leave it like that. Take your dressing and pour it over all the cucumbers and just kind of mix it and massage it into your cucumbers. Because I'm gonna add some of the green tops from the scallion into the mix. And now it's done. <laughs> but it smells amazing. And as it sets and just kind of like hangs out, 
it draws a lot of the moisture out of the cucumbers and it just such a good fresh side salad. Okay, so in a large bowl, I'm gonna start on the next part of this lunch. I'm gonna make turkey meat patties. Now, um, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna start adding my stuff. Here I have 10 saltine crackers that I crushed. I would say that's like three quarters of a cup of breadcrumbs, and these do have salt on them, so if you're using breadcrumbs, it might not be salted, but just, you know, if you're using saltine crackers, they're salty. I'm gonna add one large egg. I'm gonna also add a teaspoon of soy sauce. And the saltiness, or how you season your little meat patties, it's really, it's up to you, like I always say. I'm gonna go in with a half teaspoon of sugar. Um, now I'm gonna do this. A teaspoon of sesame oil. I'm also gonna go in with like a half teaspoon of Korean red uh, pepper flakes, red chili flakes. Let's go in with some. This is what, I, onion powder? I'd say half teaspoon. Half teaspoon garlic powder. And this is the whites of two scallions and the green tops of two scallions. So, two scallions. And I'm gonna go with like three cloves of garlic and this was the garlic that I crushed earlier. Cracked black pepper. Clean hands, let's give it a mix. And this is lean ground turkey, so um, it's not gonna have a lot of fat render from it. Gonna pour some cooking oil. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is use this little bitty scoop and this should be a good little portion for my little bento boxes. So I'm just gonna place it right like that. These are not going to be perfect. <laughs> there we go. And I'm just gonna continue the process with scooping them and placing them on my pan. I wonder if I can just take, yeah, kind of press it down a little bit. There we go. I'm gonna just use two spoons and flip that. That was the first one that I put in there. Okay, so my husband's gonna help me out. He said flipping with chopsticks is a lot more convenient, so here's his little technique. <laughs> yeah, it looks a little bit more convenient to do it with the chopsticks. There we go, nice. Okay, so here I have the yellow uh, Korean style pickled radish. And for this, I'm using just these little shape, like presses, these little cutout shape things. And I'm just going to create fun shapes with this and just kind of, there we go. And then, and here we are. Cute little flower shape. And for the carrot, I'm going to use a heart shape. And in order to do this with a carrot, this is actually a really large carrot. Uh, the circumference of the carrot you can see is really large, so it makes it a lot easier to cut out shapes. And same thing. Super cute. <laughs> and here I also have some um, grape tomatoes that I just sliced in half to put in there the rice, just like that, right there, perfect. So I have some hard boiled eggs and one of them is gonna go into the bento box.
and I'll put a boiled egg and this is the the lunch box so I went ahead and put the cute hearts over on the rice just a little garnish of toasted sesame seeds same thing garnish the cucumber salad fresh grape tomatoes my little shapes with carrots and yellow pickled radish here are my little turkey meat patties that we made earlier a nice fresh cutie orange and I don't know you guys my family likes when I make these bento lunch boxes. I actually like to do this when we go on picnics sometimes. Um, I'll make a, a, a variety of things to put in our lunch for our picnic. But yeah, super cute. Okay, so most of you are wondering, how does this, well, you just put the lid on and it might move around by the time you eat it and pack it for your lunch, but there. That's like a homemade bento box. And I'm just, you could use your a plastic container. This is a six cup storage, 1.5 liter storage Pyrex glass container with a lid. For those of you that just want to know like the size of container I use, but my little bento box is so cute and ready for lunch. Okay, so the bento box uh, is ready and my husband's going to take lunch in his office and you know, Obviously, we work from home, so we wouldn't really need a bento box, but it, it would it could be considered like a meal prep if you do it the day before, because even working from home, things get busy. So meal prepping a lunch definitely works. So anyways, he's going to eat his bento box in his office. Let's go take it to him. Okay, so I have this little kitchen towel, cloth, spoon, chopsticks, and... Lunch is on the way, special delivery. <laughs> you ready for lunch? Oh yes. I know. You, you can put the, the cloth down on the desk and then put the box on it. Okay. Let me see. <laughs> okay, so. Wow, this is good. <laughs> Let's see. Go for it. Do you like the, I, th I like the lime. I know I usually do the rice vinegar. The meat patty. Mm. Really <laughs> nice. <laughs> I hope you guys found this video helpful. That's just one way I like to jazz up lunch for a bento box style lunch. Um, and if you like bento boxes, like ideas, let me know. I'll do more. I do them all the time for my family. So anyways, I hope you give this recipe a try. I hope you like it. And thanks for watching. Bye.